I voted for Buari because at that time it was a matter of any option but good luck Jonathan. I only appeal to brother Buari to consider I deserve the rest at this point and at this age. I continue to wish him robust health to enjoy his retirement from active public service. This is the message former President Olusegun Obasanjo directed at our incumbent, Muhammad Buari. Obasanjo's name is and always has been big in Nigeria. He didn't stay silent during the rule of former heads of state, Generals Ibrahim Babangida and Sania Bacha. In 2007, his PDP presidential candidate, Umaru Yaradua, won the election. In December 2013, Obasanjo wrote an 18-page long open letter to Goodluck Jonathan, who was in the middle of his first presidential tenure. In his address, Obasanjo voiced his dissatisfaction with Jonathan's actions as president. This 2013 open letter to President Jonathan may be considered as one of the factors that ultimately led to Jonathan's loss at the 2015 polls. In 2018, Olusegun Obasanjo has formed and registered the Coalition for Nigeria Movement. He envisions it as a force that will help Nigeria in areas of governance, development and poverty alleviation. But Obasanjo didn't start 2018 by just launching a new movement. He also addressed President Buhari. In his open letter, Obasanjo listed the areas where he didn't see any significant improvements under the Buhari-led government. According to Obasanjo, Buhari has weak understanding of the economy, internal politics and the foreign affairs sector. Two, must stop condoning corruption within the presidency's inner circle. Three, did not stop the earthsman farmers crisis from turning messy. Four, encourages the blame game, accusing previous governments for poor state of affairs. All in all, the letter reads, President Buhari shouldn't contest for re-election in the upcoming 2019 elections. President Buhari does not necessarily need to heed my advice, but whether or not he heeds it, Nigeria needs to move on and move forward, Obasanjo wrote. What was the APC's reaction? The party's official response was a calm one. They have acknowledged the criticism, while not entirely agreeing with what Obasanjo had to say about President Buhari's performance. But wait, there is a twist. In his open letter, Obasanjo also spoke about how the PDP has become a concern to Nigerians as well. If neither APC nor PDP is a worthy us to write to lead Nigeria at this crucial and critical time, what then do we do? Obasanjo asks. With all this in mind, it would seem there is no bad blood at all between Obasanjo and Buhari. The two have met after Obasanjo issued his open letter. Obasanjo exchanged pleasantries with the president at the African Union summit in the Ethiopian capital. Addis Ababa, which the both of them attended. Obasanjo said his letter wasn't motivated by malice, but rather by the deep concern for Nigeria and his respect for President Buhari's office. It remains to be seen if Olusegun Obasanjo's weighty assessment of President Buhari's performance will affect the 2019 election outcome, and especially if this open letter will become the fuel for further change.